Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about um, what we know as the American dream or what we were taught as the American dream or what the American dream means to you. I was looking at um, a video today and it was just giving some information, giving some data, giving some numbers, figures and saying that today the an average American household, well I guess basically what it takes to purchase a home today. If you want to buy a house and just live, just that. What is it? It takes between a hundred thousand and a hundred forty-nine thousand dollars annually to be able to afford to do that today. I remember when. So when I was a kid, it when if your parents made a hundred thousand dollars a year combined, it's like y'all was rich. Y'all had money, a hundred thousand dollars. And so now today, to make a hundred thousand dollars or over a hundred thousand dollars a year, you're you're regular. And it's, how is that? And so, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that make a hundred thousand dollars. How we, just, you know, we say six figures. I make six figures. There's a lot of people that make six figures. There is, but there's a whole lot of people that do not make six figures a year. And um, me and my son, we were just talking about this last night. It's like, so when I my first job that I had as a 16 year old, the minimum wage was. $4.25 an hour, and that's what I was making, $4.25 an hour. And so if you look at what that would be today, I think it came to around $9 and something today. So you still have teenagers today that are making $8 an hour, $9 an hour. And so the difference in that is like they're making roughly what I was making over 20-something years ago. They're still making it. But the price of everything else has steadily increased i was telling them about how um what uh, uh well, i think it was what's it called an extra value meal at mcdonald's back in the 90s you can get one for what 2.99 was like 3.23 three dollars and something with tax you can't go get anything from mcdonald's in terms of a meal for three dollars and something or four dollars that you're not gonna do that even a kids meal i don't think any kids meal costs three dollars and something but the American dream that we were taught that we know about and it's like you really have to be asleep you know it, it is like it's a dream it's, it's, it's not even real because it's like it keeps changing now you need to make $200,000 a year $150,000 a year to be able to do just the normal things to, to have a home or to have a, maybe a vehicle or two to pay your bills or whatever Maybe that includes some of that. I think some of the polls did have a little amount, amount um, a percentage of that income for discretionary spending. But a lot of people are saying they're living paycheck to paycheck, making $100,000 a year. And so I don't think much discretionary spending is coming out of that. And so that doesn't include any vacations. When I was a kid, if you if your parents made a hundred and some thousand dollars a year, you you were you were living very well vacationing in all a hundred thousand dollars a year a lot of people of a certain age range i'm speaking on like my parents in in their lifetime you know when they were my age now i don't think many of them were making a hundred thousand dollars a year especially not for one person yeah you have households today where two people both the husband and wife or whatever are making six figures individually but that wasn't the case for a lot of people that I knew when I was growing up. Their parents combined, a lot of them didn't even make $100,000 combined. And so today, and it's just so different too because you got a lot of kids. I don't know you know, what they're doing about the um, student loan debt or whatever, but you have a lot of, well, not kids, but young adults that are graduating college. And they're coming out with a lot of student loan debt. So you, you have a lot of student loan debt that's already stacked against you. And then you want to, you have to come out and make out the gate, make a hundred thousand dollars just to be able to have this home and everything. But you already got this student loan debt, so it's 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 a lot to try to juggle. And I'll so say that I say all the time is like, if you today, if you must make a hundred thousand dollars just to be in the game. You can't make $100,000 and then try to stay on top of the game as well. You can't try to have the latest and greatest everything. You're not going to be able to keep up with the trends 
is keeping the latest phone, the latest car, the latest bag, the latest whatever. You're not going to be able to do that for me in the way I like to live. You can't do that. I can't do that. I'm not going to be doing I, I can't do that. Can't keep up with the latest and greatest. And you already got to try to have this six-figure income too. So now what, what is that? You're going to double that? So you need to make at least $200,000, $250,000 to accommodate your latest and greatest lifestyle and live the American dream. That's a lot. That's a lot. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Is that attainable? Um, you know, for those of us that have young adult children. So we, we have one child that is an adult and we have two minor kids. So, you know, for them starting their lives, you have to come in and even for my two younger children, it's going to be even higher than that. You got to start off making to be able to buy a house or whatever. And so we've, we have taught our kids a, a little bit different. Now, what they decide to do once they leave, you know, uh, it's up to them. But um, like I, I said, it's almost like you got to be asleep to live this American dream. My granddaddy used to say <laughs> when it was getting late, it was time to go to bed. He would say, night, night. Like, you got a night, night for this American dream that they're talking about. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. So when you, when you were growing up, if you're my age or older, what was a good income? What was the income that, that kept you to where you could pay your bills and do some little extra things, enjoy life a little bit? What was that income? And, and if you're younger than me, do you feel that $100,000, $150,000 a year just to be able to do these things? Is that attainable? Is that the American dream that you thought it would be? I would like to know. Y'all let me know what y'all think because it's a lot in my opinion. But it keeps changing, so either we're going to find a way to adjust to the change or we're going to have to keep trying to play by the rules, but y'all let me know. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I would appreciate it so much if you would give it a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with somebody else. We'll, I like to see what people think about things like this and let them join in on the conversation also. But thanks so much for watching, and until the next video, I will see you later. Bye-bye.